And here he is, direct from some sort of dark dimension, Pumpkin Guy. Look, hey, it's Easter. Esther Sunday. It is Sunday, right? Okay. What's up? How's it going? Greetings, PG and John. We are here and eating pizza. First what? time reheating pizza with my new air fryer. Oh. Came out very good, Jim Pizza, Jim Pills, Happy Jim Rav Wave. Air fryer pizza. I've never done that because I never have leftovers. Congratulations on both those things. Dude, if I get a pizza, I'm eating it. It's gone. There ain't no leftovers. I'm not like, I'm going to save the slice for tomorrow. I'm like, today is tomorrow. Right now. What? Today is yesterday's tomorrow, so we're all good. What's up? Thank you. Dude, that's a thing. I did, and people say it comes out really good. I didn't know that. What's up? Flutter Dash 20 Moons pre-stream. Thank you. What's up? Hope you're doing well. Hey, it's Easter. You know what that means? Less than 24 hours till you could get egg-shaped, bunny-shaped chocolates at a super, 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 super discount because reasons. Hello, pumpkin guy, John and chat. What's up? Happy Easter. How hey. are you today? Doing all right. We're egg static. I don't know. Dude, there's going to be egg puns all day, whether it's this stream or Dawn's. You know, there's just going to be excellent things happening. <laughs> oh, God, I'm just going to stop. Dude, it's terrible. There's so many eggs. Oh, God. What's up? Let me say hi to people. What's up? Lakota Warrior, what's up? Mike, Thanis. Oh, dude, spring break. Spring break. Ah. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, No, I'm not breaking out the bikini. There's new terms of service on Twitch. I can't do any of that. Uh, let's see. Dennis, DDC, what's up? Uh, Bailey of Socks, what's up? Phoenix and Grow, hi, thank you. What's up? Blood, Blood Raven, Reason, what's up? Dennis, again, hi. What's up? Core, Eagles, wow. Icarus, so, you. So murder is environmentally friendly. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Go green, everybody. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Where did I leave off? Uh, did I just quote Bob's Burgers? I don't know. Did I? I might have. I don't know. I haven't seen all the episodes. Uh, made some triple chocolate cookies last night. They taste better today when they came out of the oven. Make it make sense. Really? Well, you like reheated them? Sometimes stuff like uh, weird foods taste better the next day. You know? Sometimes baked goods take be taste better the next day. Dude, eggplant. Eggplant parm tastes better the next day. Dude, definitely. What? No, really? I don't know what it is. It's just there's something about it that makes it a little bit more delicious the next day. There's leftover option on the air fryer. Sets what? Sets it for 350 for 10 minutes. Really? There's a leftover button? Dude, this is America. We don't got leftovers. It's like people here just eat all their food or throw it out, which is wasteful. Don't do that. Vandal Star Trek, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures you mentioned at an anime convention. Oh, there you go. Weird, right? That they had bizarre little crossovers like that. See, I'm not so worried about the future being uh, redundant with no ideas because they had no ideas in the past. <laughs> ah. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, yeah, what? Brace incoming, what? Japanese April Fool jokes on the internet. Japanese April Fool jokes? Do they have a sense of humor over there? I don't know. Very A lot of their comedy is very slapstick. I don't know if they're doing the, uh, you know, that kind of thing. I don't know. Mm, good wind tunes. What's up? How's it going? Do, 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 do. Uh, there's love to, I read that. Uh, I finally read that. Read that. Thanks for that. Uh, leftover pizza. We'll try this at air fryer. Dude, let me know how that comes out, actually. No, because uh, here's the thing. We got we got leftover eggplant. We got a leftover eggplant, bro. Dude. I don't know. Do I heat that up in an air fryer? Probably not. I'm going to bake it because it's got some meatballs, too. Meatballs. Yes. Beautiful. That's for dinner later. That's for dinner later. Has everyone got bunny ears but me? They couldn't get an extra set? Whatever. Uh, leftover eggplant. Like a whole eggplant? Uh, no, no. We had to, we had to go see people yesterday because uh, we had a reality visit. Um, and, you know, a bunch of eggplant was made. So they were like, well, you know, doing eggplant is kind of a pain in the butt. So if you're going to do a little bit, you might as well make a bunch. So... You got to think Italian families. If you're gonna make food, you're making all of it. That kind of thing. So yeah, we got we got this whole tray of eggplant that we're just gonna be noshing on for the rest of the week, which is pretty good because I don't want to go food shopping at the prices that are out there. Uh, let's see. 
Eggs come in plants? Yeah, dude, it's Easter, didn't you know? A lot of people think it's chickens. No, they grow on trees. <clears throat> it's an eggplant. Mm, happy Easter, what's up? Goldie Panda, hi, how's it going? Goldie Panda, what's up? Anime and video game companies do stuff in April Fool's. What, Tight Moon, Fate Story, Night, Grand Order, always do something. Oh, all right. Blech. Yeah, I forgot April April Fool's tomorrow, so I'm going to have to deal with more idiots than usual, Ugh, especially on the internet. I, don't, I generally don't post on April Fool's just because I it's there's just so much garbage out there that I'm just like, <sighs> yeah. It used to be funny like years ago, but now I'm just like, you know, because everyone is just trying to grab onto a hashtag or some trend and they're just like, dude, you know, oh, Pepsi's going to do this or Coke is going to do this. You know, we got, I don't know green pepsi for april fool <laughs> you know I'm just, I'm just i'm like whatever dude. then nobody cares about it like in in about 15 hours mm. uh Matt, what's up how's it come eh, i don't trust any post on april fool's day i don't trust any post any day dude we, we were having this conversation yesterday you know that bridge like uh collapsed or whatever dude uh, what the the person that you know was like dude i had to watch it like eight times just to make sure it wasn't like a deep fake or something you know, I was just like, yeah, yeah. And then he was like confirming it with sources to make sure somebody wasn't trolling and all this other stuff. And, you know, then, of course, you know, everyone turned it into a conspiracy or some garbage. And I'm just like, ah. I, like, I mean, dude, it's just, it, it's just so ridiculous. You can't trust anything on the internet. What? You can trust me. I mean, yeah. You're fine. Uh, what's up? I uh, saw Powered release um, School Life with Pals thing this morning. What is that? School Life with Pals. Is it a visual novel? <laughs> and not much. Uh, my family not doing a big Easter dinner this year because my younger brother have to work. Boo! Dude, people shouldn't have to work on Easter. Just claim it's a religious holiday. They have to give it off to you. Because right, now a lot of people, uh, you know, they forget that it is uh, steeped in uh, some religion thing there. So you can say, hey, religious holiday, bruh. You know, it's like Christmas. It can't make you work Christmas. It's a religious holiday for some people. All right. Come on. Why not? You can't do that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. UK have a four day bank holiday. Four days for Easter? Four days? Don't forget PG. Psycho Stick is streaming tomorrow. Psycho Stick is streaming tomorrow. Are, are they surely doing that for reals? Or, or is that like, is there a time for that? I don't know if I'm going to be alive. In other words, conscious. I could be sleeping. I don't know. Dude, I got, I got like four hours of sleep over the last five days. Okay, I've, I've been a little busy. <laughs> uh, a decade ago, I laughed at a classmate of mine who fell for a prank article saying that Transformers were going to be in Titanfall. Nowadays, that wouldn't even be a prank. Yeah, it'd be like Fortnite syndrome. Dude, they're in Fortnite. They're literally in Fortnite, and it's stupid because you can't have a tiny little Optimus Prime running around the field when they're huge. They're big. They should be smushing people, you know? Autobots, roll out, that kind of thing, and just run them down, you know? Just, okay. Uh, uh, oh, government worker. Government workers get, yo, they better be getting, like, time and time at a quadruple. Or whatever they call it. I'm just saying, o OT on holidays, bro? Come on. And a Sunday? That should be double quadruple over time. My work was only off Good Friday. Easter Easter Monday is only a holiday for, like, government and bank people. Bank people. Weird. Uh, I don't know. That seems weird, right? Family was getting this one place. I literally only eat, what, two items, mashed potatoes and buttered noodles. I didn't really feel up to going uh, for those two things. I can get a lot done at my house just sitting with my family. Yeah, it's good. To, it's good to hang out with the fam every once in a while, though. You know, you get to reminisce about stuff you reminisced about a year earlier. <laughs> Not a holiday for the military. Well, no, they always on duty. You know, military is always on duty. Yeah, because there's a lot of crazies in the world. That's why. <laughs> mm. Uh, da, 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 da. problem with that what uh why well, say they're really just so they can have a uh, easter off so apparently they do believe in something when it when it benefits them atheists lie and say it's a religious holiday so they can get something off 
Yeah, I guess fake it till you make it, huh? Ugh. My mom does not get money off anymore. What? What? Why? Get Monday off anymore? That's weird. Happy Easter. What's up? Uh, Gulthrax. Hi. How's it going? Best part of Easter is deviled eggs. Deviled eggs. We wanted to make those, but we ran out of eggs. We got like four, and it's a lot of trouble to go through, you know, make deviled eggs for four eggs. I said we need to make like two dozen of them, but then we're going to eat all those eggs, and then we're going to die because of fat. <laughs> mm. Humans exploit systems to their own gain? What? You know, it's like uh, nobody learned anything from gaming and, you know, people subversing the mechanics that are, you know, in game. <laughs> Dude, you're subverting the mechanics here. You can't bypass that. We're going to ban you. What do you mean? I'm just, I'm working with what I got here. You know? Or is there, it takes more faith to be an atheist. Takes more faith? That's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> Mm, notice new Pauline look on the chat box or whatever you call it. Oh, yeah, we updated. There's a little one there and there's a little me jumping up and down because it was just a derpy pumpkin and then just kind of like a weird thing. We just threw in there. She got a nice hat. I like the hat. What's up? Mm. Yeah. You ever had angled eggs? What What are they like? What the hell's an angled egg? I have never heard of an angled egg in my entire... What is it? Like geometry? What do they make them square? Here, have this egg. It's a rhombus. What does it do? Because mom's government, we were so we had to make sure your meat is safe. Uh, I don't eat meat. Take the day off. <laughs> but I don't eat a lot of it. Uh, uh, angled. No, angel. What? Trigonometry eggs. Oh, God, the worst kind of eggs. Imagine you got to solve a problem before you can open it up. Oh, God. Hmm. Oh, coffee. Let's go for that. Let's go for coffee. Gonna get some coffee. Coffee. See, and that's why I can't put the prom pumpkins anymore, because you see where I put them? Yeah. Just in time. What's up? Mm. Ah, Easter Bunny was a bird with no wings for some reason. Goddess of some sort. Turned into a rabbit. Well, rabbit, you know, spring, renewal, fertility, life goes on. Yeah, whatever. You know. Rabbits are everywhere, dude. What's that? Haas and Pfeffer. Uh, I don't know if Don told you, but Mama got to like your shirt. I, yeah, he told me that. They stole it. <laughs> oh, man. They stole the shirt. I'm sorry. But at least they can relate to it, right? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, mm. Isn't angel eggs just normal eggs? Is it? I don't know. Sing up, yeah. But the good news, a new pirate book from a grandma. Ooh, pirate book. Yar. Mm. Bugs Bunny's favorite holiday. I don't know if it really would be. Think Bugs Bunny likes Easter or is he just fed up with it? What the hell happened to Bugs Bunny? I never see him in anything anymore. What the hell's he doing? What's Bugs Bunny up to? When was the last time he was in a thing? I I, I don't consider a Space Jam 2 a thing. I'm talking about like a real thing. Hey PG, how are you? Hey. Happy Easter to you and Dawn. Happy Easter, Dark Jedi. What's up? Oh, we're doing all right. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Happy Easter. Warner Brother is circling the drain. I know Paramount is. Aren't they like they they like even on a stock level they they were what downgraded as like what a little bit above junk bonds or something like that. I'm like that's not good for Paramount's thing. They're gonna get they're gonna get absorbed by somebody else. Like Amazon will come by and be like, yeah, we're going to buy Paramount. Or Disney will do it and that'll make them even bigger. Yeah. Mm, Paramount got smacked after Nickelodeon stuff came out. What was the Nickelodeon stuff? Because I, I generally don't keep it up up with it. I just saw a I don't got the money to invest in movie companies. Okay, I don't know what's going on. I just heard a blurb that blah, 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 downgraded, blue. Yeah. Mm, I don't think Warner Brothers is doing as bad as the others, to be honest. Um, well, no, because they got all the tax write-off from not releasing stuff. So, 
Joker DLC for Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League recently came out. And nobody likes it. Oh, big surprise. Nobody likes it. The internet doesn't like anything. They're, the internet has become a miserable group of people that look for fault in everything and don't enjoy anything ever. And their life is going to be miserable in perpetuity. And they're going to blame everything else because they don't realize that they hate everything because their perspective has been so warped. So they won't enjoy anything and they will go throughout life being miserable forever. To that I say, <laughs> what? Because I'm having fun. I want to have fun, you know? Come on, haven't we all been miserable enough? I know he has. You! What's up? Philly, 13 moons! Lucky 13! Yeah! Beautiful! Thank you, thank you! E. Hey, we've been going through all this, all, all sorts of old music. Hey, guess what, chat? Chat, chat. We've been going through the archives. We've been going through all the archives of all the old music that we've accumulated over the years, and guess what? Music from back then was just as bad as it is now. Dude, it's terrible. There's a handful of good bands and everyone else sucks. I don't know, it's kind of scary. Uh, let's see. Misery loves company. Well, then that company could stay over there. I'd be, I'd rather be happy than alone and hang out with a bunch of miserable people, dude. I can't deal with that. Oh, you know? misery loves company, dude. Why? You're miserable. Why would you want company? Uh. I don't know. <laughs> what? It doesn't make any sense. Misery loves company? That's just such an odd saying. Yeah. I agree. So release more music. Mm. Dom F24 Joy. Yeah. Let's work. Go. Greetings. Salutations hey. and good vibes to everyone. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. They did it. They did the pun. I didn't want to come out and say it because I, 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 you know, it's. I figured someone else would do it. And that was you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Flay. Thank you. Mm -mm. To be fair, the current media landscape leaves a lot to be desired. It all has. Every, like, okay, right now there's more crap out there that's terrible, but because um, we have the sheer volume of it that we get inundated with, there was less volume back then, but still, I think uh, percentage wise, there was still 90% crap. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm taking off the nostalgia rose tinted glasses and looking, looking at the past is, it wasn't that great. It wasn't that great. And I can tell in the music cause I'm like, God. And you know, we were rock grungy people with metal and all that other stuff. You know how many terrible rock grunge bands there were in the nineties and you know, beyond. I'm like, Oh, brr, it's terrible. Why am I listening? To I mean, granted they played their own instruments, but you know. Uh, never watch it go. Face it, we all know I'm one that likes to deal out punishment. Punishment. Pu 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 punishment. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Oh man. Mm, hey, fifteen in a row. Hey, fifteen streak. Streak. I, I put. I said the word stream and streak in the same thing because words. Ah. Then never watch too much Samurai Jack. Watch Cow and Chicken, Dexter's Lab, and all that stuff. Those were decent though. I don't know if they have they hold up because I haven't seen them in so long. They probably do. The irony of doing the hard work, it rains the next day. Other news? Ticks are a bleep. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What do you do about ticks? Do people spray their lawns for them or whatever? Or do you just keep your fingers crossed? Ticks are dumb. What a dumb, dumb little creature to be made. Yeah. Huh? Streak stream. I said what streak or something. Yeah. People just don't remember the old dumb stuff. Look, banana. You wish you had a idea like that. Banana hat. Baseball bat. Punk. Banana. It's where it's at. Oh, God. Thank you. <laughs> Phoenix Row. <laughs> oh, man. I, 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 I got distracted. Hold on. I agree. What? Happy and alone versus miserable. We're people. Yeah, there you go. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Apparently, ticks don't like lavender, rosemary, or marigold. Lavender? Ticks don't like lavender. What a bunch of jerks. That makes them even worse. Lavender's cool, bro. Uh, I'm from Coochie War Jeans because I was cutting stuff and didn't see ticks crawling on my legs. Um. Well, no, I mean, that, that's kind of good that you're wearing jeans, right? What? Why, you're not supposed to wear it? No, no, I need I need pro tips here. Pro tips. 
If you are in nature, do you wear long clothing or do you wear short clothing? She opted for short clothing. Um, spiders don't like lavender, but I like spiders. Isn't there like a bug spray you can use that just keeps tick ticks off you? What's up? 71 moons! Hey! Trillin, thank you! 71 moons! Long clothing. Hmm. A lot of bugs don't like lavender. The smell messes with their pheromones. Oh, good. I'm going to mess with them. I'm going to be walking around smelling like a lavender shop of something. What do, what do they have for that? Is there like a cream or something? What about bees, though? Are bees attracted to lavender? Because then, uh, you know. What? No, I, mean, I, I, I don't want to go walking down the street, you know, not having ticks jump up on me, but having bees in my eyes. Ants don't like lavender either or citrus. Silverfish who eat, eat books don't like it or cedar wood. So why doesn't everybody just have their house smell like lavender? It basically keeps everything else out, right? I kill them with a lighter and spray can if they annoy me. What? Any bug spray with DEET would be perfect for ticks. Ticks will stay away from DEET. Yeah, but do I really want that on my skin? Like, if I'm walking around, do I really want to be getting all DEETed up? You know? Dude, you ever see those old videos of when they used to spray f with mosquito with, with all that uh, bug spray and stuff? And the kids would run outside and play in the smoke that they were spraying? Oh my God. Dude, I saw a video of that. Like, it was from like the 50s or 60s or something. Oof. Mint apparently works. Oh, so I can walk around with a box of junior mints in my pocket and I'll be all right. Maybe lavender is expensive. I don't know. Cedar wood smells great. I do like cedar wood. Yeah. So maybe put cedar wood in your pockets to water off bees. I don't know. I did that in the 80s in Florida, the spray trucks. Oh, God. Yeah, well, yeah dude, Florida is basically a swamp of just every bug imaginable trying to kill you. God, that place. I like cedar wood. I do like cedar wood and lavender. What if I get both of them and put them on me? It's just going to mess everybody up. Patchouli oil is my favorite. I do like patchouli, man. Patchouli, bro. Patchouli. Check that out. What last 25 stream? Hey, 25 stream streak. Boom. Timmy the termite. Nice. Good job. What's up? Flying cockroaches called palmetto bugs. They are the worst. I have heard of those. Those things, I, I don't care for that. Ticks also have a rare chance to make you allergic to red meat. It happens if a tick bites a person, if the tick has cow blood in their system prior to biting a person. You imagine? Especially as an American. You imagine being allergic to red meat? I don't even know what to do after that. I don't eat a lot of red meat, honestly. Just as long as it's not chicken. Uh, long clothing. I live next to a bird and prey preserve. Uh, it's mostly woods and forests. Long clothes keep ticks and mosquitoes from biting. Plus, you can just shake the clothes off at the end of the day. Lavender and mint goes great. Mint for ants and baking soda uh, and salt for fleas. Hmm. All right. So, all right, here's what I do. Uh, if I got to go out this summer, which I, I'm I'm not going to. No, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> I don't really want to go outside this summer. But uh, uh, long clothing, which is not going to be very easy for me because everything I have is shorts or uh, I got a hoodie. I got my problem is always finding lightweight, long clothing because I've run a little warm, you know, very, very, very hot. That's it. Ah, uh, the Easter pumpkin. That's me. What? That's Rocky Mountain spotted. What? Tick. What? Uh, allergic to red meat. Yeah. Don't even forget. Uh, oh God. They got the Lyme disease too. Oh, damn. Uh, have you heard of blackwater swamps? Turtles grow so big in those they can classify them as dinosaurs. Ooh, I want a dino, dino turtle. Dino turtle. Let's go. You with your words. I don't know the issue with red meat. If you cook it long enough, it turns brown. But try to stop before black. I don't know. I don't know. I make meatballs every once in a while. And even the meatballs we make is usually a, a hodgepodge of, like, pork and turkey. You know? Not a red meat gang. I don't know what it is. 
I used to eat a lot of red meat, but then I'm just like, after a while, I kind of got like, it, it didn't taste good after a while. I was like, Mleh. you know, I don't know, just maybe my palate changed. But also I didn't, I, I never used to like hot stuff, but now I'm eating, I'm, I'm like drinking green chili sauce. I, that was wrong with me. Black Swamp sounds like something from a scary story. Beware of the Black Swamps, boy. You don't want to go in there. They got turtles the size of dinosaurs. Well, who cares? They're slow. Yeah, you don't understand. They're snapping turtles, snappy right in half. But they're slow. They're not going to catch me. Yeah, but that's just the turtles. We didn't even talk about the gators. Or the dinosaurs. The actual dinosaurs. Swamp raptors. <laughs> what do you mean, swamp raptors? And then the guy starts re reenacting the Jurassic Park. They got claws. They got cut you open. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Swamp Raptors is no joke. Go. Coffee check. If your cup needs refills, make it happen ASAP. Let's go. <laughs> well, I can't get a... Hi. I got distracted. What was I saying? I can't get a refill if it's filled. I gotta empty it first. With my mouth. Swamp Raptor sounds like uh, either a band or a sports team. Ah, and now taking the field, the Minnesota Swamp Raptors. Yeah, they haven't won a, you know, a game this season, but they keep trying. <laughs> okay. Yay, Swamp Raptors. Shut up, kid. <laughs> Cook the meat until slightly charred. Yeah. Mm, let's see. The snappy turtles are not slow, and they technically are dinosaurs, and they're living fossils. Snapping turtles aren't slow? I don't know, man. I saw a turtle crossing the street, and I was like, bro, you're taking forever. I saved them. But I had to get, like, gloves and stuff and just pick them up and kind of move them, you know? I always carry extra gloves on me in case I have to do CPR. Or operate on somebody, you know. Slapping turtles? Dude, that'd be funny. Slapping turtles? They just they just slowly walk up to you and psh, jerk. I'm like, dude, I was attacked by a slapping turtle. He took his little hand and just What, you couldn't move? Go. Hello, it's Will Brass and everyone. Hey. Happy Easter Sunday. Hey, Jim, Adam. Hi, Jim Rav Wave, Jim Bell Dance. Happy Easter! Break out the candy. We've got some jelly beans. Don's got a chocolate rabbit that we are going to bust open on stream at some point. On her stream, not my stream. She's also giving games away later, too. Cool. What? Snapping turtles can extend their necks stupid fast. Hence the name of snapping. Beware the New Jersey slapping turtle. Hey, the Jersey slapping turtles versus the Minnesota swamp raptors. <sighs> Matchup nobody wanted, but three people showed up for so we have to do it. <laughs> Let's all play, pray for rain so the game gets delayed. Until next season. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. I've never played around with Snappy. I don't play with animals, except cats and dogs. Anything outside that spectrum, I don't understand. Yeah. Had pet turtles a few years back. You put food down for them. Trust me, they not slow then. Really? I like the videos when you see, like, turtles on wheels. Like, somebody gives them a little skateboard and they're happy about it. They're like, dude, I'm moving so fast, dude! Whoa. Yeah. Dude, those are the best. That's, 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 that's the extent of my turtle knowledge. Also, darn you, PG, I had pick up claws, Sim. Yes. Real mode sucks and the beach ball can get bent. Right? Dude, that beach ball's uphill Did struggle. Did some scientists were claiming dinosaurs were trans? I think someone is taking Jurassic Park a little too seriously. Well, dude, isn't that, that a thing where certain uh, reptiles slash amphibians will literally change their sex depending on what's going on? If it was only that easy, chat. <laughs> oh, man. Dun -dun -dun -dun. What? Isn't it a scientific possibility? Yeah. So well, whatever. Could be. You don't know. I don't know what the clothing situation back then was. Uh, uh, did, 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 did. See, yes, it's possible. Amphibians, yes. Reptiles, no. And it was only a specific species. See, so it can happen. Mm. If they can't find a mate, then yes. 
it was only that easy. Uh, let's see. Speaking of slapping, have you heard that a random man with dreads has been punching with what on the Upper West Side in New York City? The only thing the women have in common was that they were looking down at their phones not paying attention. That's everybody, though. That, that's literally everybody. It's the only thing they had. To, that, I mean, that's that's not even what they have in common. It's probably what everybody is doing. It's the only thing they had in common was wearing shoes. What? What? Hmm, weird. Yes, and with genetic engineering, who knows what's next? I'm looking forward to it. I want to genetic engineer everything. Let's Frankenstein this crap. All right? Because I got to tell you, all right, as you get older, as you get older, you realize nature ain't doing its job. Alligator snapping turtles can quite literally take a large chunk out of a gator. Oh, there you go. Nice. See, I want one of those to, I don't know. Well, what do I want to do with that? Eh. Um, bo -bo 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 -bo. Aren't that, thank you. Aren't dinosaurs actually prehistoric birds, not reptiles? Allegedly. I don't know. I don't science. But no, 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 no. I, I feel like the longer you live, the, re the more you realize that science ain't, uh, you know, putting things together properly. Like, why, why did kneecaps explode all of a sudden? You know? I want to be a robot. There you go. Why not? It'd be great. 33 moons, thank you. Oh, give me some uh, robotic limbs there. Dude, uh, new kneecap, new shoulder blades, you know, rotator cuff, all that fun stuff. Yeah. And here's the dumbest thing. This guy goes back here for the umbilical thing, right? What creature gets born with a, a defect from birth that could kill you later on in life? That's dumb. Oh, hype. hype. Oh, there's a hype train going on. Hey, hype train. Got a half train. Oh, we didn't put bunny ears on her. Oh. All right. Well, at least I don't feel left out now. Ah, thank you. Mm. Ooh, Icarus coming in. Three, two, one. Boom. Hype train bits for pumpkin. Oh, the half train. Easter bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Boom. I would want upgrades like in Cyberpunk. I want upgrades like in Cyberpunk, man. I want, I want, I want super cool arm stuff. I want laser vision. I want to be able to see all that stuff. I want a mod that makes sure that I don't have to sleep and I can work 24 hours a day, yet not have to move to maintain my body health. Where are nanobots that are going through my system? How come there aren't nanobots going through people's arteries to unclog them? Like, why isn't that a thing? You know, they're like, oh, we got to put you on anti-cholesterol medicine for the rest of your life because you've been eating too much pizza. If it weren't for all of the horror stories, diving into the internet with your mind sounds good. Oh, no, you just avoid the bad places. Um, dude, it would be it would be cool. We're the nanobots running through our system, fixing up all the little broken cells and stuff. You know? Burr, 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 burr. Burr, 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 burr. You know? Because money, ah, let Elon pay for it. You know, you know, Elon or, or Bezos, you know, come on, use your millionaire, million, billion, trillion dollars to get nanobots in our system. Dude, nanobots. And then when they're done, you just poop them out, you know? I would, dude, let's go. Uh, I don't think God would like you messing with your body. We have glasses, don't we? You know how many people have cataract surgery? That's still messing with your body, you know? The whole point of living is to stave off death as long as humanly possible, and therefore, really, really appreciating the gift that has been given upon us, depending on your viewpoint. <laughs> Who wants to die? Dying stupid. It's just like sleeping, but not waking up. Plus, you don't have dreams. It sucks. Uh, your, your body is a temple. Well, maybe yours is. Mine is more like a, a weighted beach ball. Someone use an EMP, everyone dies, and we're vegetable. Nah, you come on, you gotta you gotta limit this stuff. Plus there should be shielding anyway, right? Uh read William Gibson, avoid bad places. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you could figure out what the bad places are, right? Now, if it asks you if you're 18 years or older, it's probably not the best place to be going to, right? Yes or no. I hit no just to see what happens, and then we're like, okay, sorry, go go here. The cool sites give you like a little link to some other place that has like cartoons or something. <laughs> uh, go! Easter Bunny, an imaginary creature whose flop the ears. 
ungainly feet, and wicker basket full of painted eggs somehow came to symbolize the death and resurrection hmm. of the religious figure. Yeah, it sounds like my grandma, actually. What, floppy ears and ungainly feet? They always had a basket with them. Maybe it's just an old grandma in disguise. You don't know. <clears throat> eh. Well, actually, it goes the other way around. It's kind of like, uh, you know, because Easter is traditionally a pagan holiday, you know, developed into blah, blah, blah. Ugh, here we are. Um, let's see. Both to assume the majority of people that would make these cybernetics even believe in... Yeah, but, you know. It all depends. What if science is a god? I feel like too, people are too stupid. Because, you know, as soon as we get cybernetics, people are just going to gravitate towards mature content anyway. They're like, dude, I got, I got, I got a robot, you know, wiener now, you know, like, and it's just going to be weird fanfic from that and just robo wiener. It'll be a movie. I don't know if Peter Weller would star in it, but I, I, I somebody probably already made it. I, <laughs> who knows? Uh, they're going to have to genetically modify people in the future if they want to survive the foreign planets in the future. Yeah, that's fine. We don't have microbial exposure to the atmosphere as long as we turn flat as we've got a gene manipulation of the CRISPR. Ooh, CRISPR. Sounds delicious. All right, cool. Uh, the OCs to make uh, humans grow back lost limbs like reptiles. That's what we need, man. we got to grow back limbs like lost, uh, like reptiles. Like, uh, what's his name? The uh, Spider-Man villain. Lizard guy. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That's where the Iron Man drill pen is. There you go. Is that a thing? So I, I guess somebody already did it. I want hidden blade arms. I, I, I feel like that. No. What? Okay, first thing they need to do, make it, give everybody a robot heart. Robot heart, you know? Don't got to worry about heart attacks. You got your little microbots going in there, cleaning out the system. You work with the heart. You spread out from there. The brain is going to be the, the biggest issue because there's always deterioration that happens. You could replace the entirety of your body, but... But the brain, the mind might go at some point, you know? So you got to worry about that. At that point, they'll just, you know, transfer all your memories onto an SD card and put it in another brain, put it in there. And then you wouldn't even be you. Uh, 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 what about the end or throat? Dude, get a little microfiber tubing, you know, just put it in there, you know? Come on. I mean, it would cost a small fortune, if not just a large fortune. Yeah. If you rebuilt a human from from every little vein and artery from the ground up using wiring, I don't know how much it would cost, but it'd probably be really, really expensive. That's what we need. We need a Dr. Frankenstein kind of movie that that goes super far ahead cybernetic-like. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Out of all organs, kidneys, heart, and brain don't really recoup like everything else. I know, right? Dumb nature. Come on, fix it. We can 3D print organs, so we're probably not far off. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you want fiber in your body. Dude, I need fiber internet. Yeah. Iron and clay do not mix. Well, you know, come on, let's get some alchemists working on that. Neuro networking de degradation prevention would be the pain in the butt to figure out. Yeah. Right? We'll figure it out, though. We'll get AI to work on it. Like my coffee. Do -do 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 we need more Easter movies that are horror-based. There's only, like, three. <laughs> you better be drinking coffee, chat. Or a beverage of your choice. Preferably coffee. Not tea. I'm not a big fan of tea for some reason. Makes me all blurry. Look at it. Okay. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Uh, we need a future like Ghost in the Shell, minus the robot uh, body hackers. Yeah, that's that's always the problem. What's ever everyone's big fear about moving towards the future is like. Everyone's going to hack hack everything. You know, my car is going to get hacked. My self-driving car is going to get hacked. My body is going to get hacked. My brain is going to get hacked. You know, that kind of thing. 
I feel like people's brains already got hacked. I mean, they've already been exposed to so much garbage on the internet that their brains have literally been rewired to have no attention spans. Uh, Rip Chappie from my area. Lewis, yes, Lewis Gossett Jr. died. Dude, Lewis Gossett Jr. He was also, uh, he co-starred with, uh, thank you for the follow. Applesauce. There you go. Um, he co-starred with Chuck Norris in a movie called Firewalker. Dude, that was back in the day. Dude, he was 87. Dude, he got the 87. Lewis Gossett Jr., you're cool. Wherever you are. Dude. I'm saying he was good. I liked him. He also played, um, he was in a movie called like The Mummy, like I think in the early 90s or something like that. Uh, it was kind of all right. But forward system of the brain is already heavily blues and deliberately so. Yep. I'm drinking water completely uncontaminated by tea. All right. There you go. Mm. Just go human organs, but like not regular humans, just like blobs, but with no brains. Yeah, what are we going to do with that? Why don't we uh, just clone clone people? Why don't we clone ourselves, but minus the brain and then harvest ourselves for organs? I feel like that'd be a good approach, right? Science, what the hell are you doing? You're so lame. Ethics. Trotto's out the window. We're going science. Science. What? Dude, you know, you know how many and you know how many songs there are about science? She blinded with me, me with science, weird science. There's literally gallons of songs that encourage reckless experimentation with science. Let's go. Come on, let's make these songs a reality. Weird science. Think about it. Who wouldn't want to, you know? generate a what was her name Ke kelly lebrock or something from weird science just pop them up there yeah or whoever your ideal version of whoever is can rebuild ourselves to look like kelly lebrock 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 lebron what 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 the hell was their name i don't remember bill nye magic school bus what that's witchcraft right there <laughs> Speaking of water, ever had distilled water? It's a weird sense of distilled. Oh, you mean water that's been sitting around? Yes. This water's distilled. What do you mean? It sat around for like a week. What? Uh, Kelly LeBrock, I believe. Yeah, whatever happened to them? Dude, they were like, they were like the it girl for a while. Like after Weird Science. And then I think they were in like two other movies. And then I haven't heard from them since. Like... Plus, the mental shame from having a neural uplink to internet would have to be accounted for. Ah, I can handle Happy it. Happy Chocolate Bunny Day. Hey! I hope everyone's found all their Easter eggs, otherwise they could start to smell. I was woken up with a Charlie horse in my calf. Why do they call it a Charlie horse? I, w I always call it uh, a cramp. Why do they call it a Charlie horse? Why is it a Charlie horse? Who's Charlie? Why is it a horse? And was it like getting kicked in the leg by a horse? What is it? I get that with my toe. It's so weird, dude. Like, like it just, it just, the, the large toe just kind of deviates and goes off to the side. All right. Like, hey, bring out your dumb fingers. All right. Say these are your toes, right? Dude, like all of a sudden a big toe will be like. And it's like weird. It's weird, dude. And it's exceedingly painful. It's bizarre. Like being bitten by a horse? Who gets bit so by a basically horse? Basically, you want the world to have the same technology that was in the Bioshock games? Yeah, sure. Happy Easter, PG. Hey. And everyone at a wheel press, fictional or otherwise. Thank you, Zero Escape. I appreciate. I'll let I'll let all the other employees know. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, that's why it's called Charlie Horse, because someone named Charlie's horse kicked someone lightly way back in the day. I got a Charlie horse. Really? I've never seen anybody get bit by a horse. You know, that's not like, uh, you, you don't see horror movies where, where a horse is just noshing on somebody's head. You know, it's like, it's... Horses aren't like that. Horses bite like crazy? Well, I mean, yeah, if you're feeding them, I guess, but I've never seen one just say, you know what, bro? I'm going to just rip your head off <laughs> like a zombie. They'll like, you know, get up on their hind legs and start swinging their feet around. But I generally don't see them, you know, gnawing on people. LeBrock has been working the entire time. 
She did more television and modeling after Weird Science until 2017. Really? Yo, they needed a better agent because I haven't seen crap from them. Weird Science? Huh, strange. Fighting is more of a zebra thing? Hmm. Alright. In the Brothers Grimm, a horse swallows a child. I'm sure the kid did something wrong. Um, but let's see. I have someone advanced the nerve gear from Sword Art Online, but uh, built in that fail safe uh, that they didn't in the original, but tells you the actual age and doesn't allow you to change your body. That'd be good if you could reset your body to a particular age, you know? Or you could just, do you imagine having sliders like in character development for your, for your genetic CRISPR splicing? Like, you know what? I want the energy of like a six-year-old the body of like an 18 year old, but the intelligence of somebody who's lived till they're like 200. Dude, how awesome would that be? You know? No, you don't have to roll for initiative, you idiot. No, it's just that, that that's it. That would suck though, if, the, if the, you'd have to pay by like character points, you know? Like, oh, well, well no, we're here. If you, if you want this kind, type of body, it's gonna take away from your intellect. What do you mean? Why can't I have it all? Well, that's gonna cost you extra, dude. That'd be pretty good, though. Huh. Uh, apparently, the phrase came from two baseball players from the 1880s. Really? Baseball players? Charlie horse? I got a Charlie horse. Old-timey baseball. Why do we call it a Charlie horse? I have no idea. This guy's Charlie. He's a pain in the butt, but he's in my leg. What? I don't know. It's, it's weird. That's all I could find. I'm surprised you even found that. That's amazing. Uh, I don't know, I just say a cramp. I got a cramp in my leg. <laughs> Snack on some cookie dough, but a pack of Ben and Jerry cookie doughs, bite size. I wasn't crazy about those. We had the Ben and Jerry's uh, cookie dough things. It's like they're they're literally cooking their own thing. I'm like, eh. I wasn't happy with them. Go. Think about that, PG. If you were in a virtual world, would you want to get hit for predatory behavior and have to deal with Chris Hansen? Why would I? You're here to meet a 13 year old little boy. Oh no, it's to catch a predator in a crowd edition. See, then you made it weird. I'm saying good hearted people that don't do horrible, horrible things. <laughs> oh man, there's always something, right? Ugh, people. Uh, like a fall out, you can have 10 strength and one intellect. Yeah. Mm, talking is always hilarious at one intellect. The limited factors, not so much. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Charlie Hurst is when you spe uh, specifically knee someone in the side of the leg or qu quadriceps. People have quadriceps? I, th I, think I, I think my body stops at bicep. I got like two. I don't have a tricep or a quadricep. I haven't got, I haven't worked out that much to get extra ones. Hmm. At the Chicago White Sox ballpark, credit to a baseball pitcher for an 1880s named Charlie. Off topic, but I bought a new colored pencil case and some music. Happy Easter hey. again. Nice. I like Pauline's outfit. Very cute. Yeah, it works for people. <laughs> thank you. I'll start doodling and listen to music, bro. Let's go. Uh, thank you. Mm, a Chicago White Sox ballpark credit to the baseball player from the 1880s uh, named Charlie Radborn, also known as Old Hoss, who then got it got it named. I feel like they threw a ball at somebody's leg and, and, and they got a cramp from it. So it's a Charlie horse. That's what I would go with. Late comment. Uh, horses tend to bite, grab, and throw humans if they're angry or in distress, but most of the time it's stomping and posturing rather than biting. But their bite can tear muscles from bone, uh, do a lot of nerve damage depending on the area bitten. I, you know, horses just seem less fun now. You ruined horses. Ah, no, they got to be cool and majestic, like uh, Black Beauty and and uh, Sea Biscuit. Those are literally the two horses I know. I don't know anyone. What's what's another famous horse? Trigger. That was that was the name of a horse. Uh, they don't have gigantic bulging pectorals. Where? I don't even know where they are on the body, especially my body. Look at me. Uh, I remember Black Beauty. Yeah. 
And Silver, the Lone Ranger. Silver? That was the name of the horse in Lone Ranger? Silver? Mr. Ed! There you go. Spirit. Who the hell's Spirit? Was that a movie, too? Uh, uh, sl sl Slepnir? Odin's seven-legged super horse. I feel like they would just trip over themselves. Dude, seven legs? Let's say incoming ad break. Oh, God. Mm. I've grown up with horses. They're beautiful but powerful and deserve a healthy amount of respect because they know they can hurt us in, uh, if they choose, but they choose not to. Yeah, I always... And any animal larger than me, even a cow, I approach with great caution because one, even a cow could be like, and fall on top of me and I'm dead. Okay. Um, I, I approach it like I do the ocean. I could appreciate it from a distance and I respect it because I know it can murder me if it wants to. Any given moment, you know? Dude, a horse, a horse paralyzed Superman. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Spirit, a cartoon horse. Ah, uh, okay. Did Superman ever have a horse? No, not Christopher Reeve. I'm talking about like in the comics, like super horse. Because he had a dog, right? Crypto to super dog or something? Cows are way more likely to hurt you than a horse. Really? Cows? Huh. Comet, the super horse? Really? That was a thing? Hmm. Uh, you just have Toro's what? That's what? I don't know what I got. Yeah. Hey, if Sean Connery was still alive, do you think they would make a James Bond movie and give him a cameo towards the end where he sacrificed himself as the original Bond to help the current Bond escape slash capture the villain? Probably. Because, you know, Hollywood has no ideas and they love throwing cameos in there. Hey, remember this person? Hey, remember the person that played Wonder Woman before Wonder Woman? They're in there. Look at that. There's a cameo, dude. Look. You know, that's what they do. They always do that. Mm. From Wikipedia, Slepnir was an eight-legged super horse rode by uh, Norse god Odin. Okay. So it was eight-leg, not seven. All right. That might be a little bit. Why eight? Isn't four enough? In Discworld, Death's horse name is Binky. Ah, uh, where's Spider Horse? Get it on Marvel. Close enough, yeah. You're missing a leg, it's fine. <laughs> what? Hey, if Odin, yeah. Odin. Hey, someone bought a shirt. Ooh, Zen of Anger, nice. Going for the classics, nice. Thank you, someone. It says, <laughs> thank you, thank you. My thought was the current Bond films him as a prisoner and decide to team up uh, in there together for like half the movie or at least quarter towards the end. So full right now. Cooked sausage links, bacon and eggs this morning with the camping stove I have. I nice. made truffle shells and cheese. What? Chicken strips on top with my electric lunchbox. It's been what? a good peaceful Easter so far. Nice. There you go. Dude, truffles? Truffle shells, dude. That's fancy. Still got my Pillsy in a pocket t-shirt. Love it. Hey, there you go. Truffles, dude. Truffles. I had truffle fries once. Dude, you ever have truffle fries where they put a little truffle oil on it? Oh, my God. Hey, the only reason I got it is because somebody else paid for them. They're like, you got to try the truffle fries. I'm like, dude, they're like, you know, whatever. It was like 15 bucks. And I'm just like... No, because they're fries. They're like, yeah, but they use real truffle truffle oil. And I'm just like, I'm not getting these. I'll get them for you. I'm like, okay, all right. But essentially, they were like, if you don't like them, I'll eat them. Unfortunately, we liked them, so we ate them all. <laughs> Jokes on them. What? They're gonna make some something lunch soon. Yeah, make something lunch soon. We got ad break happening. Come on, we got a uh, coffee, I guess. Let us coffee. C O F F E E coffee. Bit it do 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 do. Ad break. Get some cookies. Do 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 do. 
Bum, bum, bum. Ooh, leathery. Not leathery. Uh, da, 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 da. Why is there a minute of them? A minute of it. God. And uh, there was also a horse that was made a Roman senator. Isn't there like a chicken, the mayor of a town or something in the United States? Didn't they vote for an animal to be like, I think it might have been a cat. It could have been a cat. Was it a cat? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Who did that song? Because I hate it. I hate that song. That is that is the worst thing to come out of the 90s and the worst thing to be perpetuated through a... Yeah, just stop. Yeah, it's a cat. It's a cat. Dude. Nice. Thing. Uh, let's see. My grandmother also sent me a letter, so I have to get a type of writer... Uh, back we are like pen pals, which is nice because Graham's not on Facebook. Keep it that way. All right. That's always good when a relative is not on Facebook, you know, because then they're like, I, I sent you a message on Facebook. Why didn't you, did you see my post? Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. I saw the cat picture. All right. I'm just saying it's cat picture. Um, Clarence section in stores help me feel a bit what I overordered McDonald's breakfast this morning. What do you mean? So I have a steak, egg, and cheese bagel for lunch today. What? Mm. A dog. I think Colfo's dog. Yeah, it's a cat. Dude, there's a cat in, in, in government right now. Isn't that pretty good? Bougie, having rich face. Oh, like bourgeois. Okay. Bougie? All right. Don't need to play by play of what ads are playing. Just letting you know. She wanted to get on Twitter, and I was nice and said, Graham, no, please, don't get on Twitter, please. You imagine? Did you ever want to shake the perception of an old person's view of the world you just say yeah go on twitter mm. i don't know i kind of wish twitter was better you know I, I i had hopes when like people are like oh we're gonna make it a place where you know people could do anything and say stuff and have intellectual dialogue and blah, 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 blah. you know and it's like i just feel like everybody overestimated the user base and then we're just like inundated with garbage constantly and just it's it's such a Oh God, what does it say? I don't even want to say it's toxic. It's 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 above that. It's poisonous, you know? Toxic is like you can get over it. Poisonous is like you're gonna die, you know? Mm, nah, 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 nah. Me ma calls a tweeter. I call a twitster. Cause there are a lot of twits on there. Ah I did a thing. Okay. Mm. Uh, Doug, my 20 year old friend of all time, since she is constantly bougie, I haven't gone to the higher class high school with a cafe inside, uh, just as in the latest fashion, et cetera. I, yo, a lot of colleges have cafes inside of them now. Dude, even, even like, what, over a decade ago, there was, uh, what, City College that Don was going to, that they, they literally had a Starbucks inside that. And I'm just like, what? Why is there a Starbucks in there? Dude. You're college students, man. You ain't got money for Starbucks. You're like, yeah, let's just set up one here. Yeah. Don would literally go outside of the school to the guy who's selling pretzels and get like a 75 cent cup of coffee. <laughs> college coffee sucks. Yeah, no, 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 no. Well, here's the thing. You know, you're going to college in Manhattan. Basically, you can get coffee anywhere else but campus. All right. Uh, Twitter just cursed me with the attention span of a goldfish. Yeah. Uh, happy pre what off season what do you can't eat dude it's soon dun, dun. well i'm the oldest grandchild so she asked me what social media would be good for her and i said graham i love you too much to put you put you on any of them that's pretty good um what would be the best bet for an older person who wanted to get on social media uh none absolutely no Never mind, yeah. 
Just get them a subscription to a newspaper or something. It's just a lot easier. I got Easter peanut butter eggs last night for the holiday because they had a day before the holiday discount. Hey, nice. Beautiful. My community college had a Starbucks. The worst school I've ever been to. Not because of Starbucks. Probably coincidental. Yeah, with this. I, I, don't, I don't think Starbucks is ruining the education system. I feel like the state is. My schools want to look better on uh, to the outside world. Dude. You, you imagine being the kid that wants to go to a particular school because there is a Starbucks inside it? I'm like, kid, get out of here. <laughs> Ma, I want to go to this college. They got a Starbucks inside. The last one we went to had a KFC in the cafeteria. That's gross. <laughs> uh, mm, the old crusties hang out on the Facebook. I don't think anybody hangs out on anything anymore. They just go where the drama is, you know, trauma dump their problems and then leave. It's so tedious. You know, like I, I find the internet to be uh, predictably mundane. You know? mm -mm -mm. How to use social media. Step one. Don't. There you go. Uh, uh, probably a lot of kids sound nowadays. Oh, dude, they probably do. They probably do. You imagine? Ma, this college has got a Starbucks and a clothing store inside. I know. What's the name of a clothing store that's expensive? Is Abercrombie and Finch still around or no? I, dude, I don't know. I don't shop. What are you kidding me? Uh, was it? What, what was the other one? JC Pennies. I don't even think that exists anymore. Does it? Did an espresso cart uh, in it since over 30 years ago. Nice. They did support, but the only reason I have Facebook is because I have millennial friends who use it as well as their parents that I keep in touch with. Yeah. Here's the thing. Every, everybody's on a particular social media thing, whether they like the company that's doing it or not, merely because they have to be, and that's the problem. What, dude? I'm social media for me? You know who I got to get in touch with? Nobody. Yes. Freedom. Hot topic. Uh, 90% of the expense shopped in the mall died. At least at mine. I can't imagine there being a lot of, well, maybe there are high-end stores. Here's the thing. Uh, are, are like people in their teens who go shopping for clothes, are they, I feel like they would be more frugal, you know? Unless they're like the, the trust fund babies, where it's just like, Ma, I need to go to the mall and get a bunch of stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Here's $7,000. Get what you want. You know, that kind of crap. But I feel like, you know, your generic kids who don't have jobs, and they would probably like one, but can't find one, or at least a decent one, they're probably doing thrift stores, right? I would hope. Makes sense. I was a little money from running through the Here you go. Mm, this year's one of the houses of 2020. Papa went to the Spotify, so I said... uh. Okay, that cafe. Safe? That's safe? Oh, Spotify. I read cafe because I, I got coffee on the brain. Mm. Yeah, that, that that's a pretty good social media platform for old people. Spotify. What do you mean? It's not even a social media problem. You can find friends and see what they're listening to. Social media. Mm. Remember when Hot Topic was the devil store? Now it's safe haven for hipsters. I generally don't go in there anymore. Like, I, because I, I can see Funko Pops online. Dillard's? What's Dillard's? What's the name after, after uh, what's her name? Phyllis Dillard? Is that like her, her, her store? Or is that Diller? Dillard's? I don't know. Let's get coffee. Mm. Now yeah, it's a clothing store. Um, God, I, I, where the hell did we buy clothes? I'm trying to think. Where the hell did we get clothes? I'm like thrift store guy. And then the last, the last few like rock band shirts that I got was. Probably, they're probably bootleg shirts from some weird little vendor in, in New York in the village. Um, but, dude, again, I've, I've said this numerous times. I hold on to clothes until they disintegrate. Other than that, it's just plain clothes that I get from Amazon that are like $3 a shirt. I don't care. <laughs> you know? mm. 
Social media friendships are rarely authentic. Um, yeah, you basically have to be friends before they get on social media and then keep in touch with them if they move. <laughs> you know? There's incredible pressure as a teen to not be perceived as poor, at least in the lower upper middle class suburbs. Oh, no, dude, you reversed that crap. I'd be like, yo, I may look poor, but guess what? I'm saving money, man. I am banking that, you know? People are like, dude, you, you don't even have a blah, blah, blah phone. Yeah, go to hell, dude. I probably wouldn't be well-liked in school now, let alone back then. I mean, I, I feel like I would be so combative with everybody. I'd just be like, oh, yeah, good job paying $300 on those shoes, you idiot. Oh, well, that's your dad's money anyway, right? Does your dad even love you? <laughs> well, they must. I guess they paid you off, right? Oh, God, I just go right for the heart, don't I? <laughs> Uh, do you have an ultimate comfy shirt? Yes, I do. It is a flannel shirt that is literally, it's close to 30 years old. It is so raggedy. It looks like I took it off a zombie that got off the ground, but it is so comfy. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 basically a more expensive version of Burlington. Hmm. Buy clothes of high quality. That's what thrift stores are for. Here's the thing about thrift store clothes. A lot of people don't like them, but there you go. If they are in thrift stores, chances are they've been put through the ringer already. And if they can survive that, they're good to go. It's like buying a used car, you know? It's already got all the kinks worked out, you know, for the most part. Um, and there's a sweet spot for that. It's usually, uh, what, three to four years, I think, you know? It's had enough time to have all the, you know, things worked out, but hasn't been used long enough to have the crap kicked out of it. Eh, a Burlington Goat Factory? Ha! Mm, you go straight for the jugular, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, I, I mean, you know, part of me would just get... Uh, I, I want to say... What a, a a sinister evil glee from just interacting with people because I could I I I know I am a soul crusher at heart you know like I I could just literally just size somebody up and just tear them down but I try to be nice I use I try to use my power for good until I'm pushed the wrong way okay uh just watching the episodes film me uh based on truth yeah it happens society man. Oh, you got a new, another cartoon coming out this week? And then another one after that? And another one after that? And then one after that, right? And then another one after that. All right, cool. Uh, remember to watch the early thrift stories are great, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. It's uh, literally as soon as, as soon as I get home, I'm just like, boom. Right in the, uh, what do you call it? Laundry. Like, that's a boom right in there. Let's see. The washer. Yeah, the washer. I'm like, whatever it is. The little spinny thing with the water soap. Uh, da, da, da. Should I have chicken wings or waffles? I would say both. Why limit yourself? What do you mean I'm not nice to you? I'm always nice to you. I didn't immediately ban you. I mean, that's pretty good, right? I I figure that, that's, that's super nice. I was like... Uh, da, da, da. How's the uh, old foamy cartoon HD restoration coming along? They're all, they're all done. The original series one through eight is on Gumroad and Itch. Um, so those are done and you do have the reboots already done, but you just have to kind of get them squared away and then tossed up there. We've been kind of dragging, dragging ourselves on there, but they're done. It, dude, it took forever, dude. We had to go back in by hand to the source files. Dude, that, that is like getting the original print of a movie and then trying to rescan them in 4K. It, it's insane, you know? This is crazy. This is crazy. Mm, chicken wings or waffles. Why? Nice guy. Uh, PG's a nice guy. Otherwise, I would have knighted him, sir. There you go. See? I'm a, I'm a knight. <laughs> I could be a dark knight, though. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
I'm dying eggs and having deviled eggs. Ooh, you're dying and deviled. Dude. I gotta tell you, you know, uh, Easter you know, comes off as very sinister sometimes, you know? I'm dying eggs. And they're deviled eggs. See? It's all sorts of things. It's like Halloween, basically. Pumpkin night. How about Pump Night? No, that sounds weird. Sounds like a weird rapper name. Yo, it's Pump Night! <laughs> uh, work out and then add bacon to that list. Bacon? Get some squats in, do some deadlifts, and snap into a Slim Jim. Oh, yeah. Mm. Bump, 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 up. Yeah, Pump Night does not sound good, right? Hey, it's Pump Night. Is that like Hump Day, but in the evening? Sure, sure. Okay. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. Why not chicken waffles? That's what I'm saying. You have both. Apparently, that's a thing. Chicken waffles. Hey, if you want to make Halloween, uh, not Halloween. I'm always, I got Halloween on the brand. I'm sorry, I'm a pumpkin. Um, Easter, a little spooky. Dude, 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 dude. Let's go. No, I saw this on Reddit. I had to show people. Dude, look what they did. Look what they did. They made little Easter, Easter coffin things. It's Easter ween. Easter ween. They're little coffin cupcakes. Come on. They're pastel. Pastel goths unite. Okay, because this is Easter time. You break out the pastel colors, it can still be spooky. All right? You got candy. It's essentially Halloween. Just saying. Uh, I like that, dude. Come on. Do 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 mm, how about pumpkin net? I need a cool theme song. How much does Danny Elfman cost to make a theme? I wanna I want a cool theme that I can use for my 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 streams. You know? But not nothing too circusy, you know? Nothing where I'm like bum 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 bam printer printer printer, you know, where like you know the penguins goons are you know coming to get me kind of thing. Mm. No, I'm not that good of a composer, man, or make my own songs, you know? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Eggs. Egg. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, what was the other weird thing that's, uh, no, because we were looking for, like, Easter-themed horror movies, and they're so difficult to find. One did come out called Easter, Bloody Easter, which, I mean, I don't know. It's got, like, a killer rabbit or something. Oingo Boingo is awesome. Dude, it is. They good. I like them. Mm. Um, what was the other one? That, see, that's it. Critters 2 has a Easter rabbit costume scene in it. And that was, uh, and then we did, we were like reaching for another one, which was like, uh, Monty Python's Holy Grail because it's got both religion and a rabbit. That's it. They're like the only three Easter movies I know. I'm not talking about cartoons like, you know, the Easter Bunny, Peter Rabbit or anything like that. I'm talking about horror movies-ish. Hey, dude, the Monty Python Holy Grail, there's a lot of violence in that. There's a lot of violence in there. Even though it's cartoon, humor is violence. It's still kind of, you know, Watership Down. Is that, is, that, is that an Easter movie? Is that a horror movie? Is it a horror movie? Is it? No, no. There was a, oh, dude, speaking of weird, bro. Um, No, there's a weird horror movie that came out. Give me a second. We're going to easy mode. Yo, this bro got a Cadbury egg on his head? Dude. I forgot we put that there. All right, chat, chat. There is a movie. I'm not even joking about this. It is called Monster Mash with Michael Madsen. Basically, yo, this 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 guy right here, this guy. I've seen him in things. He's been in the stuff. Uh, uh, apparently, this movie is like, Yo, this guy tries to get, like, all the bits and pieces of all these other, like, monsters to make one super monster. All right? It, it's an indie film. I'm not expecting a lot because it is made, made by Asylum. It is an Asylum picture. So right off the bat, we're kind of worried about that. See? It, it came out. Look, it's at, there's a VOD, and it came out March 29th. So I, I don't. 
I don't know how this is, but I am I am I have a morbid curiosity. Yeah. See, in Monster Mash, a dying Dr. Frankenstein is determined to meld the world's strongest monsters into a singular, unstoppable creation. Okay. Now the monsters, including Drac- Dracula, Wolfman, and the Invisible Man, must work together to stop him before it's too late. Yeah, so this film will be opening theatrically in the following location. These five. So, it exists, chat. Have fun with it. What, you know, dude, that's a little weird. That's kind of weird, but I'm intrigued. I, I feel like I feel like it would be a fun movie, but I don't know if it would be any good. Like, if, if it was done right, I feel like... I'd be all on board for it. You know? It's like the monsters got to work together to, you know, get Dr. Frankenstein from making a super monster. You know, dude, we are we can only be the craziest monsters in the world. We can't have super monsters. That's where all the sci-fi channel movie script went. Yep. Dude, Asylum Pictures, they just keep churning them out and you're just like scratching your head and like, how is that? Harvey has an eight foot tall rabbit. I, yeah, I don't know if that's really quantifies. I feel like that's kind of heavy handed for the holidays. Lots of violence and rabbits in Watership Down. Maybe not technically horror, but it will leave kids damaged. Yeah, kids are already damaged. I quote Monty Python and it gets mod checked. Weak. Yeah, well, you know. Dude, Automod set to the snowflake. I just leave it there because it keeps out bots and, you know, people using it for bad reasons. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. Uh, I just saw the flower in Pauline's hair. Oh, yeah, it's there. Mm. Do, 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 do. Power of friendship can overcome any obstacle. Friendship, good. <laughs> Dude, that's going to be crazy. Uh, let's see. Now, oh, Dawn's here. Hold on. What are you doing? Give me a second. The Dawn is here. Oh, I'm sorry. There, yeah, I was in easy mode, but I guess I'll stop that I'm now. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. no, no, no. I'm Go sorry. ahead. Interrupt I'm everything. Sorry. Get you the know. hell off of me. I was, ow, oh, you got sticky hands. You've been eating chocolate. Give me Easter hugs. No, there is no such thing as Easter hugs. They don't exist. Easter hugs. No, that's something you read in the storybook. Get out of here. Easter hugs. No, it's called fiction. It's a fantasy world. Easter poke. No, that's even worse. It looks like you're you're holding a gun at, at me. Like, you know, po- dude. Okay, stop. Abuse. All right, what's going on? Not what are you doing? Cleaning. Cleaning. Eating hummus. Hummus? Yeah. Oh, so you got hummus fingers. Oh, God, it's even worse. All right, okay, I get it. I get it. You're here. Stop it. All right, so what's going on? What are you doing? Oh, after you, I'm going to give away games. Giving them away games. Giving away games. What What, what o'clock? Um, One o'clock. Uh, it starts at two. All right, it starts at two, but it's probably going to start at three because, you know, Don what? likes to say hi to people because it is the holiday season. So well, there's probably going to be some fun stuff. Or what? I am listening. I got ears. What's you, up? You asked me. You may me. not see them, but I got ears. What's up? You asked me. And then you They're under the hoodie. All over me. I'm not talking all over you. I don't see words on you. <laughs> what? So I start at two. You start at two. But we're going to do um, Mad Libs, uh, the annual Bunny Bash. Bunny bash. The 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 dismantling of the Peter Rabbit chocolate bunny. Yeah, Peter Rabbit every year. It's the most um, the worst day for him. And so the the actual giveaway starts at three. So That's why I'm saying. You who don't want like uh, fun. Fun. If you don't want fun, <laughs> you show up at three. Yes. <laughs> if you're only interested in games, um. But yeah, we'll have fun for the first time. We yeah. got Easter Mad Libs. Hey, Easter Mad Libs. Um and chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. So that's, I'll tr- uh, I'll try to try a piece. You'll try to try. A I'll piece. try to try a piece. I got a fra- I got I got I got two fractures and one tooth. It's it's been an uphill struggle for everything. No. Oh. I'm I'm running out of ideas on how to uh what? take apart the bunny. You got a blowtorch? No. We, no, we got that not... little fire thing. Fire. You, you set the gingerbread man on fire. I'm always about setting things on fire. I don't yeah, know what's wrong why with me. You just automatically go to flames. I was a I was probably a pyromaniac in a previous life. It's possible. It is it's possible. possible. So. See, Timmy says fire. If 
fire. See, well, well, Timmy fire. sets whole forests on fire in their games. Why did you do? Because they do. Well, oh, it's better that they do it in a game. <laughs> That's true. Hello, Dawn. Hey. How, How are I? you? Dark Jedi. Thank you. I Ow! Snuck a hug. I snuck a hug. Ow, God, your hands are warm too. That's gross. What? Because I'm living. Yeah, I don't like that. It's weird. <laughs> Dude, my hands are like ice. Big feel. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like a refrigerator. Yeah, it's like holding a, a hand made out of ice cubes. It's pretty you good. Keep your own can of soda cold. By I know. Way. That's pretty good. Um. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna mm. get set up stuff and things. You go. Here. Go. Right. Go. Bye -bye. Let's go. Don's gonna be on in a half hour with fun. If you like that sort of thing. I was playing a game yesterday that I got a flamethrower and had to battle the evil hockey game. I, dude, you just melt the ice underneath them. You're like, oh, we're gonna. Uh. Evil hockey gang? What game was this? Now I want it. <laughs> oh, man. Boop. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, did you ever put up the VOD for the claw machine game yet? No, you haven't? No, we had this cool claw machine game. It was like five dollars off Steam, and we were just like basically fishing for prizes forever. It was amazing. It was amazing. Uh, what was the other weird crap? Oh, dude, 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 dude. I know everyone's like, "Hey, when are the Simpsons gonna die?" But hey, they're making more toys. I was excited about that, dude. Dude, 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 dude. dude. Some of the old Simpsons toys were pretty cool, but th these these are like a little bit more high tech there. All right. Because look, it's it, these things say things. Where's the fun one? Somebody say something. Look, this one has 14 phrases. Look, it's the good evil one. The little Killer Krusty doll? Killer Krusty doll. Dude, I want this one. Includes 14 phrases. 14. And they're all gonna be evil. The game is called Hunt Down and it is currently $3.99 on Steam. A 80% markdown. I like 80% markdown. That's pretty good. I like that. Nice. Write it down. <laughs> Hunt down. What was the other thing? Oh, look, they got a prank phone call one. Thank you, Timmy. Look, includes 10 pranks. Hey, is there a Seymour Butts here? <laughs> that kind of thing. That's pretty funny. <laughs> the toy makers know which episodes we like. Yeah, That's about time, too, right? Crusty the Clown, yeah. Is your refrigerator running? Do not for nothing. Okay, and you got to think all those weird little prank calls that they did back in the day. That was that was pre pre AI, where people people actually had a thought about these things. Yeah, let me see what Megazord toys. It's not even. It's not even Megazords, bro. It's Simpsons. Mm -mm -mm. Right. It's been around forever. I should approach them, tell them to make toys for all, all the foamy stuff. Dude, make toys. Go. Amanda hug and kiss. See? Pretty good. Uh, speak of my grandma. She just called. What? Oh, that's pretty good. Hmm. All the Simpsons phone jokes uh, from the original 90s episode were jokes written in the 1970s. Ah, Well, somebody had to come up with them. At least it wasn't a robot, right? Eh. Mm. Oliver clothes off. <laughs> I want a foamy doll with 14 phrases. Yeah, but they're all going to be not safe for work. Dude, I would love to make one of those. A plush that every time you squeeze it, it says something different. I want more than 14 phrases. I want about like 70. You know? I know dude, with current technology, I there should just be limitless things that I should be able to put in a, a little squishy squirrel doll that likes to yell at things. You know? That would be amazing to me. That would be so cool. You know? But no. Da -da 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 -da. To be fair, the last time I did a prank call, they threatened to call the police. Really? Who does that? We're going to call the police. How are you going to do that? You got to hang up first, don't you? I'm tying up the line. I'm tying up the line. What you going to do, bro? 
What are they going to do? Hey, hey, police, we got a, we got a, we got a, 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 a call, a prank call. Oh, uh, do you know what the number was from? Well, no. That was probably back in the day. I don't think people would do prank calls now because usually the numbers show up. You'd have to get one of those, you know, made up numbers that people use for stuff like that. Uh, what good is having limited potential without imagination to fully realize it? Exactly. Happy Egg Day. What's up? Serpico, hi. Is it safe? <laughs> uh, food time. Take care. Goldie Panda. Be well. Enjoy your food. Happy Easter. Hey. If prank call podcast or anything to go by, a ton of people threaten to call the police. What is it? We're going to call the police. Dude, just laugh with it. It's a prank call, you know? Dude, it's just, I find it silly when people are just like, get so bent out of shape about that. Is your refrigerator running? How dare you? Eh? All right, shut up, Karen. <laughs> The Jerky Boys. Yeah, that's the. Uh, they had their own movie. I never saw their movie, but they actually had one. I've had customers before ask if I was going to call another store to check their inventory for them, then call the customer back with the answer. It took all I had not to laugh at them out loud. Yeah, pretty much. Dude, that used to be a thing. People used to actually do that. That was standard customer service back in the day. Hey, can you check if another store has it? Uh, yeah, all right. Dude, when you worked at a record store, you would call other other stores all the time because there was a lot of them, you know, and it was just like, yeah, hey, do you have this blah, blah, blah album by who the hell ever? And they'd be like, uh, yeah, we do. Can you put one on the side for this customer? Yeah, you got to drive to Jersey for it. Okay. But I never had a problem helping somebody look for music. Anything that wasn't music related, I would just be like, we don't have it. I can't be bothered. I'm always about spreading the news and the arts to everybody far and wide, okay? But, you know, if somebody's asking, I need these shoes in a size 7, see if another store has it. No. No, I don't care about your feet, okay? I care about your mind, unlike most guys. Why'd you gotta, why you gotta go there? People are only interested in your body, you idiot, okay? Why don't you get something, you know, in your brain, and then maybe people will actually care about you, okay? Instead of being this husk of stupid. Why are you so mean? <laughs> Get out of my store. Now there aren't any record stores. Uh, happy when I see one. Yeah. Few and far between, but, you know, you go in there, the price of everything is stupid expensive. It's like $40 for a, a vinyl. Get out of here. Uh, some of the best pranks. Prank uh, story explains to them how they're just wasting the police's time by reporting prank calls. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. dun 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 mm. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Dover boys need their own movie, do they? And I'm waiting for my jaw to crack here. Hold on. Ah. No, that's locked in there for a couple hours. All right, never mind. Mm-mm-mm-mm. But let's get coffee. Go. Boop. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Boom. All right. You always know it's a holiday weekend when there's like not a lot of news to talk about, but there is a little bit. Um, and here's the other, the, here's the indicator. If you enjoy a lot of pop culture and stuff like that, I'm not even joking about this. Anytime there's a holiday weekend, somebody churns out a Lord of the Rings article. I don't know why. Is, is, are, is, that, is their demographic stuck in Middle Earth during the holidays? Like, what is happening that they have to keep churning out these, like, oh, one of these details of The Hobbit most people don't realize, or blah, 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 Frodo's journey to this, you know, blah, 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 Gandalf, blah, blah. What is with this every time? I've noticed this weird little cycle. What, does nobody, people into Lord of the Rings don't celebrate the holidays, so they just fall back on Middle Earth lore? I mean, what the hell? I don't know. But whatever. Okay. Games. Dude, remember when Predator Hunting Grounds came out? I don't know what happened to it. It like, it almost fizzled. But apparently it's uh, it's making its way to consoles and stuff like that with some updates. So, I don't know. Yo, if that's in Game Pass, dude, I'll play that. I'm like, yeah, dude, that Predator, bro. I'm not paying for that. Games like that, I feel like should just be free to play at this point. Am I the only one that doesn't think that? 
or does what you know what i mean frodo's internal monologue about pipe weed yeah pretty much Dude, no, that was, that's like a thing. If you want to what laugh at music and pop culture, take a look at people moaning about the latest Beyonce vinyl missing tracks. It, it's literally missing tracks. Is that a thing? No, I'm, I'm never gonna look it up because I I don't care about what Beyonce does in any form. Or they keep winning the awards for some uh, reason. Yeah. Easter. Hey! Happy holiday of anthropomorphic bunnies having nice. painted slash chocolate eggs to celebrate a resurrection. There you go. It's the renewal of life. It's symbolic. Eggs, life, bunnies, bow chicky wow life, you know? Mm. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Classical, thank you. What's up? And uh, really, is it actually mi missing stuff? Oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hey, that game's getting an update with uh, a map and something else. I don't think people play it anymore. I don't know what happened to it. Those two games, the dude, the Predator game, the Hunting Grounds, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's just like, whoop. And Puppet Master. There was a Puppet Master game that came out, and nobody's playing it. Nobody's playing it, bro. It's the Puppet Master. Dude, if they don't, if they don't have William Hink Hinkley doing a voice, I don't care. Go on, my pretties. Go out there and destroy everyone. He was so good, man. I love his voice. Also, people would buy vinyl of Beyonce. I I know, right? There is a weird thing there. Uh, I remember asking my dad, do you play WoW, which was like $10 a month, and that sounded crazy to him. Now we got gotcha games. Yep. It's a slur demise. Oh, going straight to here. Gaming's going down the tubes. What tubes? Where are these tubes? Fantastic. Did it? Hmm. Not sure if it's really news or not, but my mom's uh, been co DMing a D and D game in her apartment building, and starting next month, she's also going to be teaching a knitting crocheting class. Just starting. People oh, cool. wanted to play one character on both sides. Wait times are atrocious, and the gameplay wasn't that enthralling. Really? Oh well, that's kind of lame. Ooh. I need I need I need a, a a deep fake of William Hinckley's voice for uh, our alerts, because that would be awesome. People wanted to play one character on both sides. Wait times are atrocious, and the gameplay wasn't enthralling. <laughs> Dude, I would love that. Dude, I want all my alerts to sound like that. It would be so creepy and fun at the same time. I don't know if I could do that myself. That only lasts so long. Eh. Sounds like a little old man. Dude, that was the guy who did uh, Dr. For, uh, what was it? Finkelstein or whatever? Nightmare Before Christmas? That was the voice actor. Yeah. He was good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Family thought I was touched in the head for working a whole summer to buy a Sega Master System. 32X Sega at the end of five games for an entire summer when I was 12. Dude, that's old school gaming. That's, that's when you know somebody cares about their hobbies. Come on, dude. What's the difference between uh, that and what do you call it? You know, working really hard, you, you know, I don't know, and buy parts to work on a car you enjoy working on. It's all hobbies. Everyone just has different interests. Do, 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 that is good news, though. Dude, do D&D &D and knitting and crocheting? Dude, that's all sorts of things. Dun, dun. Still playing Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm not even sure why. It's more frustrating than Dark Souls 2. Less fun. I may have a problem. Um, People seem to kind of be enjoying it, though. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. There is, there is some wonky things in there where it's just like, you know, where the NPCs are like, I know the way. They don't know the way. No, you got to go this. I know the way. Follow me. You don't know the way. You don't know. I don't even know where to. How do I turn in this quest? Where do I go? I know the way. You don't know the way. We've already been all around the map. You don't know. You're a stupid pawn. You don't know anything. Damn it. I am the Arisen. Well, then shouldn't you know where to go? I don't know because nothing's highlighted on the map and I don't have all the microtransactions to do tri fast travel. Now I got to get stuck in a cart and go down. Oh, now we're being attacked again. <sighs> Strawberries. What? Uh, 
Mm, put the second side on a Dreamcast and call it complete. There you go. Pathfinding is hard. Pathfinding. I don't want to do that. I want the game to say, go this way. Yeah. When I got a quest to turn in, I want to know where I got to go. I don't want to wander around the map willy-nilly, falling into ditches, falling off the sides of cliffs, having giant trolls. Jofo, you're getting annoying. Giant trolls just crushing my face merely because I'm there. Let's see, where else will I live off? Bump, bump, bump. Need to put a second side in Dreamcast. Let's see. It's the health system that's frustrating me and constant random boss encounters five feet apart. Well, that's the thing. There's more encounters than like a Pokemon game where you walk through the bushes. It's like, oh, and you're like, oh, God, here we go. All right, let's fight this thing. Uh, Bethesda, screw it. Modders will fix the rest. Yeah, but this isn't even Bethesda, man. This is Crapcom. <laughs> Wait, you need to pay for fast travel? That's ridiculous. Well, I don't think you need to do it, but there are like, uh, what, waypoints that you can kind of get that are, look. just look at the microtransaction page. It's it's kind of annoying. I myself have knitted and crocheted dice bags for my old d, &D group back in the day. Also made them some uh, can cola for the drinks. Nice. The bear Oli, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the prime sub. Taking the money away from Bezos because they're not doing anything with it. Nice, thank you. Haunting Grounds is a terrifying game. Is that the one with the dog? Is that the one where you get the little dog? No, that, that game's kind of difficult to come by unless you kind of, you know, boo like it. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Capcom made Resident Evil and there were no microtransactions in those games. Yeah, so what happened? That's the problem. They made Resident Evil. There was no things in that. Why would they do that? Did the original Dragon's Dogma have that kind of crap or no? Like, no, because uh, Dragon's Dogma, the first one, I don't remember anyone complaining about microtransactions or anything. It was just like, here's a game. We like it. Yay. So what 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 a deal? This makes me actually worried about the next Resident Evil. Yeah. Dun, dun. Yeah. Fallout 4 and those legendary candles. Sediment under con uh, attack constantly. 100 legendary encounters near sediments within eight hours of gameplay. I'm going to get a special 10 millimeter pistol. Yeah. I don't know, man. Got to have more money. Got to have more money, dude. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know, man. I know. I think at some point there's going to be some blowback from gaming companies and then the industry is going to have to kind of reconsolidate and fix itself rumor has it that re9 will be open world oh that's not going to work how's that going to work how is that going to how is that going to work what do you mean open world how open Are we talking tomb raider open or world of warcraft open the devs from uh, Baldur's Gate 3 said they're not planning any DLC. There's still respect out there. Yeah, because they made a good game that sell, sold millions and millions of copies, so they made a good profit, and hooray, you know? That's the way things should happen. And I feel like a lot of people, you know, kind of shoehorn microtransactions into games that are lackluster because they know they didn't put a lot of effort in there, and they know the game's a little wonky and weird and probably not that great anyway, so they're like... Well, you know, we'll get those players who kind of just brand recognition and just, you know, maybe get a couple extra bucks out of them because why not? Whatever, you know? Also, Larian isn't uh, handling Baldur's Gate anymore. I know. Well, they probably got enough money to do their own projects now. <laughs> Dude, how awesome would that be? Dude, imagine Larian coming out there with a fresh new IP going boom. You know? I wonder who is now. I, I am really worried about that because I don't think they're going to be able to do... Dude, you know how long they worked on Baldur's Gate 3? Well, yo, who else is coming in with Baldur's Gate 4? You know? That's going to be insane. Mm. Larian doesn't want to be under Wizard of the Coast anymore. Yeah. I figured at, at some point they're just going to be like, you know, yeah, we're done with you. 
but they probably got the money now to just, you know, hopefully they got the money, um, you know, to just make something good on their own. And people are just going to be like, yeah. Uh, play some of the monster of those games were planned and thought out. Also, Rip can relate to the feels. The feels. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't want to work for Wizards of the Coast. I don't think anybody does now. I don't know what it is about what happened to Wizards of the Coast. They just kind of... Uh, like, uh, it's that fall from grace. And I think anything that's been around long enough, eventually there's too many, I guess, executive decisions that kind of messes things up. So, what are you going to do? Mm, beta test does wonders. Yeah. Just look at Power World. Power World, dude. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 dum, bum, bum, bum. Uh, I know, man. Well, dude, Wizards of the Coast. Okay, everybody loved Wizards of the Coast back in the day when I started. You know, they were like, oh my God, look, they're coming out with some cool stuff. You got Magic Gathering, got this. Beep, 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 beep. You know, and then over the years, they're just like, all right, let's keep squeezing more money out of our franchise. You know, it gets ridiculous. Uh, Magic Gathering is still big, but it's gotten weird. They have, they have cards with Transformers on them, Doctor Who, all this other weird, superfluous, not pertinent franchises being thrown in there like it's a cardboard Fortnite. I, nobody needs it. You know, it's just so dumb. Lord of the Rings? Fine. You know, close. Woke ruined MTG with all the crossovers. Yeah, that's kind of like the thing. Yeah, the crossovers, man. It's... Why? I mean, I, I didn't even keep up with what recently got put in there. I know Lord of the Rings, uh, Transformers, Doctor Who. What was the other one that was stupid silly? And I'm just like, this is dumb. I mean, I could go find a list, but I'm lazy. Um, it, It's just like, why? My Little Pony, My Little Pony. Um, well, that... that well, all right. Here's the other thing. <sighs> Games like Fortnite have just made crossovers normal, right? Where back in the day, you know, you'd have a crossover. It'd be like, oh, this one meets this one. Oh, my God, this is so crazy. But they did have crossovers back in the day. You know, Transformers meet G.I. Joe, uh, Judge Dredd, Batman, Spawn, Batman. Batman met everybody, apparently. Scooby-Doo, even the old-timey Scooby-Doo, you know, what, how many mysteries they solved with the globe trotters for some reason? Um, I think Batman was in one of them. You know, Don Knotts. That was a crossover. Yeah, Don Knotts was big enough in the 70s or late 60s to be in a cartoon. Don Knotts, yes. Um, DC, Marvel, Robocop vs. Terminator. I mean, crossovers have been going on forever, but now it's super... Magic the Gathering is just a collection of fanfic now because there is nothing left to really create under the IP. They burned it to the ground. Burned it to the ground! More fire. What's with you in the fire? <laughs> Thank you. Fortnite's crossovers is dumb. Goku wilding a gun is like, really? Oh, yeah, that's right. There you go. Yeah, Goku. Goku with a gun. Pew, pew. I'm like, uh, Goku, can't you do a little bit more damage? Just a little bit? <laughs> Astro Army vs. Jason vs. Freddy? Yeah, there you go. Mm. What is the difference between a crossover and fanfic? Um, somebody's getting paid for it. Honestly. that That's Keishal High. Um, that's it. Basically, the IP owners are getting paid for it. <laughs> Scooby-Doo is the OG master of crossovers. Yeah. So, I mean, it's been going on forever, and when it happened, it was kind of cool, but... I mean, now it happens everywhere. I mean, it's everywhere, you know? But at least something like, okay, Godzilla versus King Kong. It makes sense, you know? Um, My Little Pony, Magic Gathering, with Lord of the Rings and Transformers, doesn't really make sense. I would almost give Fortnite a pass because it's like, it's a toy chest of everybody's favorite characters. Fine, he said reluctantly. Um... Yeah, but it, it does get it does get a little silly after a while, and you're like, why is this in here? Well, money. We just basically want money from people who like these characters. So there's no lore, no reason they're there, none of that. Just no, just put them in there. So that's it. 
there wasn't a, like um god what was that it was a uh, i forget the name of it was it smite where they put avatar less airbender in there for no apparent reason smite does a lot of crossovers too toy chest of everyone's favorite characters that's literally super smash brothers yeah well i mean that probably got the ball rolling on most of this stuff. I mean, it was what? Uh, Warner Brothers Multiverses. Um, and it's just like, yeah, dude, people are just like, dude, just put all, put all, everything everybody loves in one thing and just like get get money from everybody. That's just what it is. It's just a skin though. I know. That, that's enough for people now. They don't expect a lot. And description that it become way too hard to read. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, Smite does a lot of crossovers. Even VTubers are in it. Yeah. I was like, why is a VTuber in this? I forget I forget the name of the one. I want the pink hair. Yeah, I know that narrows it down, right? Good. Um, yeah, but what are you going to do? It is what it is. So I'm, I'm just like, I, I just kind of roll with it now. And I'm just like, I, I can't get invested in the blatant cash grabs that are out there because they've always been out there, you know? And like I said, when we we're looking back at the uh, weird toys, the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Star Trek crossover toys they had in 94, I'm like, okay, this is garbage has been happening this whole time. You know, uh, it's, it's, they literally exist. This, this is from like 30 years ago, dude. 30 years ago, bro. I mean, it, it doesn't make any sense, but they did it. You know, beam me up, Donatello. Shut the hell up. It doesn't make any sense. So at this point, I try to not take any of this stuff seriously. I could poke fun out of it, but I'm I'm not, you know, I, I can't sit there and fume and get my blood pressure all up, you know, because, you know, oh, they gave Goku a gun because that totally makes sense, you know, because it's Fortnite. I'm like, eh, whatever. It's just. Eh. Call of Duty is pulling crossover shenanigans, too. You can run around as Alucard from Helsing in the multiplayer in Warzone. That's ridiculous. Universal started it with their shared universe monster movies, comedic and serious. Yeah, but that, I mean, that was kind of all right because they owned all their own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like Universal Monsters, we own all the Universal Monsters. Now it's just like licensing fees getting doled out so people can get a couple of bucks here, a couple of bucks there, a couple of bucks there. You know, it's ridiculous. Um, and not for nothing, back then it was actually fresh and new. But, you know, we're talking almost 100 years ago. Um at some point in our lives, we just go, I'm too old for this nonsense. Um, it's not even that. I still care about crap, but not this. <laughs> you know? Oh, I love poking fun, fun out of it because I find it ridiculous. You know? And people who are, like, really fans of the stuff, they're like, dude, Transformers are big. Why are they so tiny in Fortnite? Dude, this is dumb. I hate it. You know? Um, I, I get it. But then there's, like, you know, just... I can I can rage about that stuff in kind of a comedic sort of way and not take it seriously. It's I worry about those that do take it too seriously because it, it does. After a while, it does get like, well, what does it matter? Yeah, and don't forget the original crossover engine Scooby Doo. Uh, every week, new crossover because there is nothing after telling the same formulaic story about kids in a van uh, goes for twelve episodes. Yeah. So I'm saying they got to solve new mysteries all the time, but you know, hey, we threw somebody in it in there, so it's different now. Yeah. <laughs> Jinkies, it's Jake Paul. Ro ro. <laughs> oh, Scoob, man, I don't want to deal with Jake Paul, man. He's gonna try to sell us NFTs, dude. That would be hilarious. Go. Yeah. Hey, I can't speak. I literally spent real money on Overwatch yeah. for Cowboys Bebop skins. In my defense, I like what I like. I have no defense. Oh, that's fine. I didn't even know there was Cowboy Bebop skins. Really? I didn't know that. Dude. I know. I like the uh, Mercy Witch skin. But, you know, again, I haven't played it since 2018. So, Oh, God. John Wick and Payday. Dude, what was the game that had Godzilla in it? It was, uh, was it Battlefield or was it Call of Duty? Dude, now that was a good crossover because, you know, hey, here's the thing. That's all military thing, stuff happening. Giant creature comes out. Who's going to have to fight him? Yeah, military. That's pretty good. It was Call, Call of Duty Warzone. That was cool. That was cool. And you know what? Godzilla was freaking huge. He wasn't some little tiny lizard running around the city, you know, going pew pew with a gun behind buildings. No, he was crushing buildings. 
I was like, dude, that was kind of cool, right? That's a crossover I can get behind. Makes sense. You know? Hey, 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 military forces, guess what we got to deal with now? Oh, what? The Russians again? What? This guy over here? Some weird people over there? No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. No, nope, no. Nope. You might want you might want to put down your little uh, Bowie knives and whatnot, because it's not going to work on this guy. We got Godzilla coming in. Okay? Wait, what? No, Godzilla, big monster, big monster. Okay, folks. All right, here, here's what I want you to do. We're literally just going to strap nuclear weapons to your backs, and we're going to throw you out of planes to get this guy, okay? Isn't that like a suicide mission? Yeah, but, you know, let's go. All right, sure, what the hell? Let's go. You're in a plane. Dude, come on, that's cool. Godzilla and Kong were in World of Warships as well? Really? Huh. I never played World of Warships, so I didn't even know there was a thing going on. Yeah, they, they've been pushing Godzilla and a lot of stuff. But I... Here's the thing about Godzilla or or Kong. Bro, they're they're huge epic giant creatures. They can almost fit in everything as long as you make them big epic giant creatures. You know? That's the thing. That's why there's this universal pe appeal for Godzilla. But, you know, go. McCree as Spike sucked, but the rest of the skins were great. Sombra as Ed, Ash as Faye, Wrecking Ball as Ayn. And Malga as Jet, plus a few unique emotes or highlight intros. Nice. There you go. Again, I haven't played it since 2018. I don't know if I ever will go back to any sort of Blizzard game. Though a new company owns them now. Hey, is that, uh, what, uh, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, Kaputnik guy get, get kicked out yet? What's his name? Klopek? I forget his name. Kong was only originally uh, 25 feet tall. Put him on steroids. They're fat Godzilla because he was well over 100. That's what I'm saying. They got to make him big. If they make him big, it works. You know, you can put him in anything. Dude, even if they put Godzilla in Dead by Daylight, it would work, but you have to make him big. You know? Go! You can be Master Chief in Rainbow Six Siege. I, I feel like you'd be a little OP in that. Little OP. Dude, you're going to have a Spartan run around with, what with, with like, regular military? No. That's like getting those those Warhammer guys that just basically obliterate everything with the Space Marines and putting them on, like, you know, a police force. I'm going to go and listen to some music while I draw. Hey. I really appreciate you streaming when you do. Yeah. It's always lots of fun. So thank you very much for doing what you do. Dark Jedi, thank you. I appreciate. Thank you. It's a sledge skin. It's a sledge skin. Well, but that doesn't. Ugh. I'm just saying. Hey, that should be a, a that would be a good thing. A Warhammer Halo crossover. You have Space Marines and Master Chief. Come on, get Cavill on that. I feel like Cavill would be like, no, no, no. That is not part of the Warhammer lore. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I know, but dude, crossover monies, bro. I don't care. This is a problem we had with Witcher. They wanted to put Scooby-Doo in a Witcher episode, and I said, no, this isn't going to work. <laughs> oh, man. Shield and Bart anywhere alone. And yeah, then he's a cyborg, yeah. Mm. I left in December. Oh, he's gone. All right. Go. There are Warhammer bundles in Call of Duty. Nice. Go. The CEO stepped down in December, though I guess he's still involved on a board, but he's not in charge. Ah. Uh, eh, I don't know. Again, Blizzard. It's like, I, I don't want to get wrapped up in Warcraft again, again because that's been around forever. Diablo, I honestly don't care about for some reason. Diablo 4, I have no interest in it. I've seen people play it, and I'm just like... Yeah, it looks good. Another dungeon crawler. Yeah, ancient evil. Super pissed off or whatever. I like. I got no interest in the story. I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Oh, they're gonna take over world. Oh, go, go for it. What are they gonna do? Make it worse? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Doom fan, what's up? Happy Easter. Nice. Ad break. I didn't authorize that. You son of a. All right, everyone, get coffee. Mm. Everybody got some coffee. And look at the coffee cards. Who knows what's going to come up? Nobody knows. Because there's 1,034 in rotation randomly. See how random it is? Mm. Mm. 
I need to drink a full mug of fresh hot coffee to get more coffee. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Even a full cup is a potentially empty cup that could be refilled again. Just got to pace yourself. Coffee in the bloodstream. Keeping my brain awake during the holidays. Because I got to search for eggs. I don't know. Got to could have worked as a monster character in Evolve if the game was still active. Yeah, dude, that was a good game, dude. Dude, Evolve was fun. Dude, I, I saw a lot of streamers having a lot of fun with that. And then it was just like, it kind of just, it didn't catch on for some reason. But you figure it would have. You know? That was, that was, that, that game had a lot of potential and it just didn't click for whatever reason. I feel like if it came out now, people might have more of an interest in it. Um, but I don't know. Oh, the app glitch and it's playing both the ads and stream. All right. Right now, whatever ad you're watching now could be something you're interested in. I don't know because I'm talking all over it. If you enjoy difficult RPGs, there's been a resurgence of old RPGs from the 80s and before like Wizardry and Star Ocean. Look for the remakes of the classics. Some of them are good. Yeah, but I don't like difficult. I don't like difficult. My whole life is being difficult i don't want difficult in my entertainment i can't deal with difficult in entertainment i cannot i'm like my life is difficult enough i do not need a challenge when i'm trying to watch something or play something i don't even like music that tries to engage me too much because i'm just like shut up <laughs> oh god mm. oh the ad was louder than me oh big surprise big surprise ad's shouting at you it was, pro it was probably, uh, what's his name? Kevin Hart, huh? That guy's so loud. Uh, I got bored without a challenge. I guess I'm that guy. Oh, no, dude, if you like a challenge, that's awesome. I just, I'm facing enough IRL that I, I when I'm, I got to zone out when I'm playing stuff. This is why I was playing a claw machine game for like, what, six hours. That game is awesome. I only need like four more prizes and I got them all. What about the time limits in video games? Hate them. Dawn is starting. I'm aware. Where did I leave off? Read that, read that, read that, read that, read that. Uh, boring lore. Oh, speaking of old games, yo. You know how Nintendo gives you like old games to play or whatever? Like, because, uh, you know, in America, they basically require a subscription now because they suck. Um, yo, some of the old games we booted up. I, I gotta tell tell you, I am glad gaming has evolved. Well, for the most part, past like those older games. My God, some of them I was playing. I'm just like, I can't. I I never want to play a game like this ever in my life. But those were games a lot of people grew up with. We had access to some of them, and I'm just like, I hate this game. I don't want to play this this type of game ever. You know? Oh. It was crazy. I'm just like, how how did this... It's like the only reason people love these things is that's because all they knew. Like, honestly, if you've never played any of these old, old Nintendo games and you go back to them now, some of them will be quirky and endearing. Like, Metroid still kind of holds up. But um, there are just some games where you're like, what the hell? NES games were hard. I can't beat most of them. Yeah, no, we, I mean, that was the thing. Yeah, they, people had to get their money's worth out of it. So they made it difficult, you know? And the handful of games we had, it's just like we played them to death and eventually beat them. Um, but my God, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, I'm like playing some of these games and I'm like, this sucks. And I understand, but that was my childhood. Yeah, it was ours too. But it sucked, you know? I'm glad gaming has evolved. I'm glad gaming mechanics have gotten really good. Um, controls, for the most part, have gotten tighter, you know, and more precise. Dude, there there were some Mario games I was playing that where it was just like, blah, blah, blah. you know how many times I fell off that stupid vine trying to crawl up it because, you know, I hit the little directional pad, like, slightly? Hey, I like Zelda too. Also Earthbound and Mother still hold up. Good design is timeless. Though I understand not liking Metroid 2 on the Game Boy. Oh, God. We played Alone in the Dark, the uh, Game Boy version of that. 
Oh my God. Oh, Brr. Yeah, it does depend on the game, but there are just certain games. I'm just like, God, if this would have been a lot better if it had tighter controls, you know, or this would have been a lot better if the, you know, graphics didn't look like garbage blocks. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of like weird. I know people get bent out of shape when you criticize old Nintendo stuff because it's timeless. <sighs> Artifacts are timeless too. It doesn't mean I want to be playing with them all day, you know? Um, so it is, it is game dependent, but I think a lot of those games could use a fresh paint, coat of paint, and uh, even some of the controls could be tightened up, you know. But God, I'm just I'm just so glad things have evolved. Like seriously, because it's been a while since I've gone back to that level of gaming, um, and I'm just like, oof, ugh. All right. I, I, I could feel my thumb getting, uh, uh, you know, uh, Game Genie really helped with some NES games. I didn't have Game Genie. Ugh. Never tried any VR stuff. Um, a couple of things, because Don has the Oculus something or other. Um, and we tried a couple of those things. I do like VR. It's kind of fun. Uh, graphically, I'd like to get it to where it needs to be, but it, it's still pretty good when it is. Yeah. Uh, some things are certainly better. Story and innovation aren't one of them on average, though, in modern day. Well, I don't think a lot of people had good stories to begin with. I feel like humanity's ability to tell stories is very limited. You know? And when it gets too bloated, and here, here's the reason, and then we'll wrap this up. But humans' ability to tell stories is only as good as the audience that is absorbing it. So, you know how, like, everything got super bloated in the Marvel Universe? It's because people don't have the attention span for it. And they didn't have attention span for it back then, let alone now. So I, I feel like everyone's... The sheer limitations of the human mind to absorb information limits us from our ability to tell stories in a really good, engaging way. You know? How many, how many here remember Mass Effect and everybody complaining about, you know, the end of the original Mass Effect trilogy? So much so they had to explain it. The devs had to explain the ending of Mass Effect because people, what? I don't understand. What is Mass Effect? Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. So there is a, there is that kind of thing. It's it's humanity's it's it's its own speed bump. Honestly, we just slow ourselves down because we don't have the brain power to move forward. But with that. Dawn is up and running. So you know what that means, dude. It's going to be Mad Libs. It's going to be chocolate. I really want some of that chocolate. Plus games and giveaways in probably about 45 minutes or so like that. So we're going to get the outro music going. Come on. And then I'm literally going to pop in. They right over there. Where is it? Where is it? I can hear them talking, man, but I'm not even there. Wait, wait, bro. Uh, -na 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 -na. Come on. Hey, all right. Do, 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 do. Go. So everybody, 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 everybody. I'm, I'm trying to alt tab here. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Try to enjoy the day. If you have a day off today, enjoy that too. You know, hang out, do something fun. We're going to play some games over on Dawn stream or win some games. Thanks for the stream, hey. PG. Have a good week and see you with Sage Jim Love. Might be a late stream. Might be a late stream on Wednesday. We'll see. I don't know. We got we got a lot of day stuff we got to do, which is being annoying. Whatever. We're gonna go over to Dawn Stream. We're gonna have fun. Oh God! I gotta set up the raid. I completely forgot to set up the raid, bro. Bro, I forgot to set up the raid. Let's go. Doing it. I'm trying. I'm trying to set up the raid, guys. Guys, we gotta go. We gotta go win games and play Mad Libs and eat chocolate. That's what life is all about. Let's go. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang.